Welcome to Trey's Little Rose giveaway. Um, I just want to take a moment to introduce myself and then I'm going to show you one of our products. Uh, this week in Tennessee, I think most of you are in Tennessee, we um, of course are extremely grateful for the safety of our friends and family and properties. There's a lot of devastation around the area and um, but I think in keeping with Trey's gratitude challenge that we should certainly all take a moment to um, express gratitude to our Lord and um, make sure that we let our friends know that we are thinking of them and praying for them and of course physically and financially do what we can to help with the cleanup and recovery. I know our schools are trying to figure out what to do with displaced students and I um, one of the things on my mind is you know right now everyone's being very kind and um, understanding and patient and so my prayer is that that will continue throughout the process as some of the schools will be closed for the remainder of the school year and so they have to find a place for those students and sometimes that can create a lot of tension and discord and I just pray that people understand the position that the schools are in and um, that they are making every effort to make the best decisions for our students and for our families and our communities. So that being said, because I feel like nothing can not address that at this moment, um, I'm going to just tell you about our giveaway and then I'm going to show you a couple of styles with the product that Trey received. So she got a mini flexi clip. If you don't know what a flexi clip is, it's just this little tiny hair clip. This is a mini, it's extra, extra small, and it's the smallest size in the flexi clip that we have. Um, I'm gonna show you in a minute how to use that. There is in the, uh, on the entry page at the bottom, there's a video with an introduction to Lilla Rose telling you about a little more about me, a little more about the company and the products that we offer. Um, if you have any questions at any time, please let me know. Um, that's literally my job, so please don't feel like you're bothering me. Um, sorry, I'm trying to open a package. I meant to grab another item to show you a different size. Um, so how to enter is you complete the form that is going to provide me and me only with your email address and your name and you will be added to my email list and that will give you information weekly ish about Lilla Rose and new releases. Um, but that is only coming from me. So don't worry about me sharing that with other people. Um, so that's your first entry, that, that one's required to enter. Second, for your bonus entry, if you're not already a member of Trey's oils and, hashtag oils and blessings group, then you'll want to join that. There is a link on the entry form as well uh, so that you can join that. We will confirm um, your membership to that group before we award winners, or a winner, sorry. And then I'm gonna add a third one that if you join my customer group, then you'll get a third entry, but you need to do those in order. I'm not going to give you a second entry for joining my group if you haven't joined Trey's group. Does that make sense? So first and foremost, your email, second, hashtag oils and blessings, and third, Cindy's Lola Rose Ponytails group. So um, if you're already in hashtag oils and blessings, then you will not need to rejoin. We will um, look for your membership there to see how many entries, and I'll do that before a uh, winner is chosen, okay? But your priority entry again is to fill out that form with your name and email address. So Trey has the um, mini flexi clip and Trey, the way that I usually see her wear her hair is just a little pullback. And please understand, I am growing out my hair color so everything may not look perfect <laughs> or the way you dream of hair looking when I do certain styles, but we're gonna run with it right because we're all just people um, really quick so instead of using a rubber band or a claw clip you're just gonna slip that in and grab a little bit of underneath hair 
can clip that back. I don't usually wear this size, so bear with me. Um, and then you just have your hair pulled back real cute, real simple, done, easy. And then when you take it out, that's it. So what you're avoiding is damage to your hair and having to constantly rebuy claw clips that break and rubber bands that damage your hair and also eventually wear out. Um, another way that I use the mini, and then I'll show you the braid, is if I just wanna pull a little bit of hair back. Also, I cut my hair yesterday, so I'm not really sure what. Um, I put some layers. Not sure what everything's gonna do. And then I'll just clip that right there like that and done and that will stay all day long if you don't like the way it looks up here reclip it or you can also just gently pull some hair out if you want it looser if you want it tighter just pull it back tighter and clip it like that however you like it okay see there come my layers and then again take it out boom done okay now let's do the braid the side braid now when I do a side braid sometimes when I have layers well like course when I want to see one it doesn't come sometimes I'll put a little bobby pin or something right here to keep these little fallouts but if you just have a single layer to your hair then that's not an issue so however you like to do your side braid I kind of because again of the layers I will just kind of mix up my hair so that I have different I have the longer lengths in every section and sometimes that takes a little playing as I go and I might put a little bobby pin there to hold those layers back. Usually if I do a side braid, I'm wearing a hat, so I don't have to worry too much about those layers. And just braid it however long you want to. Now I'm gonna show you if you have, see here, I've got this shorter piece, I'm just gonna separate and give it some length. If you have straight hair, um, if you put a little water in your hair or um, hairspray if you use it, something like that, that will keep the flyaways from going. I don't really have a problem with that. So then we can just take that clip. I'm going to show you a trick if this is too big because, yeah, that does happen. Sometimes we have people with thinner hair, and as you braid, that gets thinner and thinner and thinner. So I'm going to show you a trick of how to make it hold. For me, this is going to hold just fine, and I hope that Trace is. Well, I missed a little piece of hair, but that's okay. So let me tell you, this is interesting. See, there's the piece that doesn't quite reach the braid, so I can either pull that around and tuck it in, or I can just use a bobby pin or something right there. Um... I didn't think about dogs um, when we Trey and I were talking about this giveaway and I didn't know that she hasn't worn her rubber bands in a while because Champ likes to eat rubber bands and that's obviously dangerous and not healthy for him. So there's another benefit. Um, but what I love is the no damage and um, not having to just constantly repurchase things. So there's that boom and it just comes out just like that um, now if you I'm gonna have to use a bigger one to show you this but if you have thinner hair and your hair just well actually I could actually do this with the small one um, let me just take a small piece of hair so if you have thinner hair and you're trying to braid it down towards the bottom we all know that that gets more narrow and there's not much left to put in a rubber band. I sometimes, see if I have one, will use a bobby pin. I'm gonna show you a bobby pin and flexi clip trick. I will use a bobby pin to secure a ponytail or a braid. So I'll just take a piece, that bottom piece of the braid, just any of the strands, it doesn't really matter which one. I try to take it out of the middle. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason to that, but that's just what I do. And then, um, you see how tiny that is? So I'll take my bobby pin. This one has a little sunflower on it. And I will put it upside down, catch that band, flip it. I missed. Stick it through the braid. And then I'll grab the back side of the band with the bobby. And then stick it in in such a way it's a little manipulating a little bit 
and then I'll hide that band in my hair. You could actually shoot it up. If your hair is straighter or thinner, you can actually shoot it um, up into your braid. Does that make sense? Let's see if I can do that. Actually, I have never done that, but it would should work. So you can bury it. That works really great, actually. I might start doing that. Just kind of bury that band into the braid. And again, a little manipulation. And so it looks like you're wearing a cute little clip there. Of course, you can see that piece, but that's more for demonstration. But once you bury it, then you're good to go. And it looks like you have a little decoration on your ponytail. Now, here's a cute little trick. If, I'm gonna do this backwards because it's easier for you to see. So typically I would put it in this way, but I want you to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna put it on backwards. Okay, so now this clip with this amount of hair is gonna slide right out, okay? Because there's just not enough hair. If you're clipping this to your hair somehow, then you can grab extra hair there and hold it. But if you're just wanting to do a braid and don't have quite enough hair for this mini, what you're gonna do is take a piece of hair and wrap it around the stick and that is going to add thickness and like a little gripper to the flexi clip and just make sure that's snug and then you're good to go and now your braid's gonna stay in now that didn't turn out quite so pretty because my braid fell out halfway before I started it but that gives you an idea of what you can do with that. So lots of different options, lots of different sizes. They go in size from extra, extra small to extra, extra large. I have literally only met one person in my little over a year of doing this that needs an extra, extra large. Um, there are sizing guides on each product to help you determine that. And you'll see um, like coin sizes so what i want you to do if you're trying to use that guide is take your hair and wrap your finger around it and without moving it slide it out and then that gives you your coin size okay it's going to start you with your ponytail size and that's what we recommend most people start with if you never wear a ponytail then just use those little guides to go up or down. I typically recommend that people, if you're not sure or if you're borderline, then you wanna go down a size. We do offer a 30-day free exchange. You'll actually receive a return form with your order and 90-day, um, no, 30-day return, free, no problem, you just get your money back. 90 days, free exchange and then a year uh, warranty for defects and anything like that. Because basically, really, I mean, I've not had anything break unless I um, do something, you know, like run over it. <laughs> but, um, you know, past that year, then Little Rose can't really be sure that you've not used it improperly or like I have one that I keep on my keychain. Um, that's my rubber band that I carry around. It's like my extra in case I didn't put my hair up and want to. So like that one's getting um, the tar bead out of it because it's attached to my keychain. So um, I wouldn't expect Lilla Rose to replace that because I've beaten the beads to death, but um, it has some decorative beading on the design. So, but if I were to have something like this on my keychain, then there would not be any damage to that. But I picked the wrong one to do that. All right. So again, very excited that you're joining in the giveaway and you will want to do your name and email and then join hashtag joys, oils and blessings, and also Cindy's Lola Rose ponytails. So that gives you three entries, but in order. So email first, oils and blessings second, Lola Rose ponytails, third okay we will verify those and then we'll pick a winner on we'll run the giveaway through monday and i'll pick a winner on tuesday all right have a blessed week i hope that your family is safe and that everyone is doing well all right thanks for tuning in i neglected to mention what are you winning silly me um you are basically going to win 17 dollars in lilla bucks 
it's our whom have one on me program and basically we will create an account for you on my website and then I will upload the um, discount for you so you'll have $17 to spend on whatever you want that can be used towards tax and shipping this is just going to depend on which item you select it's very very simple to choose something and stay under that $17 with your tax and shipping that's just um, going to depend again on what you choose and what um, you know what your tax rate is where you live etc so just factor that in standard shipping on any item is four dollars so that'll help you know what you have to spend there if you don't want to have to add money to your discount and that's that's the goal is for you to get this totally free okay so that's why I wanted to share with you those details the little clip uh, that Trey got is $11 and I think her total for that clip with her tax and shipping with her whom, of course I gave her a whom, um, was um, I think 15 something. So she actually has a couple dollars to use on a future order. Now these only last, the, the discount only lasts for 60 days. So before I load it, I want you to be ready to shop. I will check with you the winner and make sure that you are ready to use it. I can save it for a future purchase if you would prefer. Um, if you already have a Lilla Rose Consultant, it is okay to use a Whom from me, but I then will re redirect you after you've used that back to your um, previous consultant. Does that make sense? Because what I don't want to do is steal my team members customers but it is absolutely okay for you to win something from me does that make sense um, because we love each other and support each other like that um, so 60 days and what else I feel like I'm forgetting something important oh be sure I will if you don't put your phone number on your entry I will only be able to contact you via email so be sure to check your um, spam folder on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, those days. I'm gonna reach out on Tuesday, so make sure you check because after a certain amount of time, I've listed that. I'm not gonna to try to regurgitate because I'll quote it wrong. I've listed that and um, if you don't respond, I will choose a second winner, okay? And we will also announce the winner in the Oils and Blessings group only I'm not gonna publicize that anywhere else to protect your privacy does that make sense so you'll need to watch all and blessings and your email for uh, the winner announcement all right but I'm only gonna announce you know, over email to the winner so everybody is not gonna get oh so and so one does that make sense because privacy I will in if I don't hear from the winner I will put in one of my regular emails excuse me if you entered be sure to check your spam something like that okay so I'm gonna do everything I can to get you your prize but I can't check your email for you so if you don't respond quickly enough I will move on to another winner all right so $17 in little bucks is what you get if you want to go shopping then click the shopping link below and you can see what you can get for that amount all right thanks again bye